Apart from that one guy who's giving might to the classes, may as well give everyone might. Let the priest slap a bit harder with their staff. Alright, looks like most people are in here. Welcome everybody to, I don't know how long we've been doing this, probably like three months now of Emerald Sanctum. We recently started doing hard mode about a month ago and we've been doing it pretty swimmingly every because we've had quite a lot of healers and giga chads here pumping. So, uh, I'll be your host today in Hyenie's place. She was uh, busy with some other stuff today. Uh, I'll be doing Loot Master. I'll be locking the SR here in a couple minutes as we're about to pull. Um, your tanks today are JDO, Human Shield, Copeland, Healbro, and Old Toker. Just one and three. JDO will be helping me out with doing uh, just some on-the-fly callouts, directing the group as we clear the trash of the boss. Try not to pull the little dragon, which is the mini boss. We won't be killing that today, we'll be live, so we're doing hard mode. Because we've got lots of healers. Let's do a ready check. Hit yes if you've got all your buffs, it's time to consume up. Pull in shortly. Are you alright if I DPS today? Oh yeah. Did you set up? That's fine. Thank you. Four healers is plenty. I mean, four tanks is plenty. Shamans are saying they need salvation. Paladin sign for that is IP freely. Okay, is Lenny's AFK? Healer is AFK. We should have enough to get going, so whenever you're ready, uh, GDO. Want to do a pull timer or just go? It's up to you. Okay, we'll just run in on the first one, right? We have like three Paladin tanks, this should not be. Uh... Yeah. Shamans, place down your tremor totems as these whelps will spam sleep. Sander, please Sander. Stop the five. So heal them and we can just split them up. Just make sure that all the ones get picked up. If you're paladin, just try and focus on all the little shit. If you're something else, then focus on the big stuff. I'm gonna have to find out why you're pulling so much work, my friend. Okay, thanks, heal. It is the Pro Bells, or whatever he's called. The Paladin with the two hander, is he a tank? Because he has Righteous Fury on, that's why he's pulling for it. I can't say his name. Libius hasn't it? signed up as a tank, I think it might just be a mistake. <laughs> okay, so he just he, he just had it on. It's fine, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the scale band will just pull to the side, we'll just pull the pack as it is. Just kill all the other ones first, so we're gonna kill the Wemkins first, then we're gonna kill the. Then we're gonna kill the dragonkin, and someone please get on the scale plane and just pull it to the side. And pull it a little further away than you would normally, and the reason for that is it does an annoying like AoE, and this AoE relowers everyone's attack on. Or is it armor? I can't remember. Anyways, just get a bit away and then kill the rest. Okay. 
So suppresses vermin and then a dragonkin and then scale men for kill order. Do watch Good out, kill. casters, as you might die. You hit the dragonkin while they have magic reflect. Okay, when this is dead, get mana, rest the one guy who's dead, and then we'll move on. Oh, all the paladins in group one, please don't pull until the, please don't pull until we have the guy rest. Are all the guys here at the Tanks in group one, all of them. So, uh, uh, heal pro and so on. Let's go. That's not that bad. If you are tanking this, like all tanks, you can just spawn something like this. So, if it does miss for some reason, right, just turn away from the right. There doesn't have to be a specific tank on it. Okay, the way healers are gonna do this, if you need mana, you drink, then we do the pool, then we just keep going, right? So we always have some healers rotating in and out. You don't need 10 healers to heal this. If you do single target damage, go for the big dragons. If you're paladin, go for something else, so uh, AoE class. But if you're an AoE class, I suggest start with the single target and then swap to the dreamers. Normally you want to kill the dreamers first, but... Most people just get themselves killed. And the only thing that does is cost time. So. Give yourself a rule of thumb, cast two abilities on a single target and then go for AoE. Just to make yourself feel better, always point fingers at the others who are dead. Alright, we have our first trash drop today. It's the Lasher Whip, which is the Reflect Tank Trinket. Looking at the SR sheet, let me just refresh real quick, double check. It's locked already. Just keep me healing, uh, healing me. Uh, I have a debuff. When it's gone, then we'll go on the next pack. So, let's see, um, we have plenty of tanks, all the tanks make sure you get one, I'll take the scale plane on the left and the rest of you just guess what you're going for, if a tank is on it, don't go for it. it. Looks like Polybius is the highest roll, but it looks like you signed up as a Ret Paladin. I think I'm going to give this to Old Toker as a main spec. Congrats, old Toker. Good for tanking, good for nature resistance. If you wonder why I don't bother like assigning tanks for this, it's because the only one that needs to be assigned is the skate lane because it's the only one that cleaves. Everything else people pretty fast find out not to go for another. Or they die. So how's everyone's weekend been so far? I don't know what it's like outside the US, but we've got a three day weekend with um, Memorial Day tomorrow. Well, I, I, did, I uh, forgot that that came up. I, somebody mentioned that I had a long weekend and I had to double check. I'm gonna pick the big one. I'm just gonna pull them to the side. Everyone else just pick up on the little ones. Uh, there's gonna be one paladin, one of the little guys. Uh, one of the medium guys, I guess. So 
let's hey we down the dreamers yeah back my mage taunt I didn't do this raid when it first came out I heard that it was miserable because there was so much more trash than there is today there was three yeah, about and all of them have more health but we could I, I the thought that they, uh, I thought they reduced it by like five or six minutes. I think you can see a video of us doing it before it got fixed where we are blocking him on the wall. Like we wiped like three times and then we finally figured out how to do it. No, that, I guess that's right after they made it fixed. Like we're just doing it with wall chat fine. Hmm. Oh. Getting the tanks and drink. Uh, can I can I have an assist? Yes. We're gonna go the left side around here to make life easier for ourselves. Pull totem. Drink. Yes, all shamans. Remember to pull your totems and be mindful of where the boss is positioned. We don't want to accidentally butt pull it. Don't worry, he's gonna fly to the middle now and then fly down and then up and then to the left, so we have some time. Okay, I'm gonna take the scale bane on the left and heal bro, you can take the scale bane on the right and we're basically just gonna pull him to the side and then everyone else is gonna kill everything else, yeah? Sounds good? Cool. Heal bro, be careful, you don't pull it too far to the right here because you'll end up line of sighting. I know the guy looks like he's coming close, but he's not coming co close enough to pull, so we should be fine. Run all the way back to the start, basically. Then we're gonna cross out, cross over. Then we're gonna go to the to behind this, this nice big stump. We're gonna stay there. We're gonna pull two packs to that, and then we're gonna kill the pack in the middle. The reason we're gonna be standing there is because it's gonna be flying up, and then it's gonna be flying to the place where we just were. So we might as well kill the stuff over here in the meanwhile. So please, I'll just come back and then uh, cross the road. If you know where the boss is going to go, then you can cross it a little earlier, but I suggest you go far back as possible until you at least see the dragon turn. I'll put two marks down on the floor. I'd like the scale banes to, scale banes to be there. There's going to be two of them. I'm going to actually mark them here because they are important to get picked up. If you are a caster, healer, DPS or anything that doesn't have a shield, then please stay back here on the green mark so you don't get uh, killed right away. Um. Suppressor, of course, dies first, and X is gonna be heal, bro. And I guess the other one can be me. I'll just give a triangle. Okay, if anyone wants to pull this uh, tank, I, I guess I can do it. Good luck, everyone. And as I said, please don't step into the 
into the big pile just uh, immediately. You will get killed if you are DPS. Like that. Heal bro, please go uh, scale bait to the left. Sorry, he was doing skinning for me. Oh, sorry then. Someone else pick up the exit pull to the left. There's a green mark on the left side. Any tank. Any tank. Finish off these dreamers. The little whelps. Probably they don't have to be perfectly on the spot. But the idea is just to get them out of the raid fast enough. We didn't get them out just fast, but you know. What? Kill the suppressor, then the ramen, then the dragon kid. Just kill these, as soon as these are dead, then let the hunter do his thing. And we'll just kill them back here. Can you repeat that one more time for the hunters just in sit in here? Okay, hunters, when Triangle dies, send a pet to Skull, please. Everyone else, just stay here. And of course, Paladins, you can drop your Consecrate in this little door here. Just pull. Send a Hunter Pet on Skull, please. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, Paladins, get ready to do your thing. This is where you shine. Shaman in group 1, please remember Tremor Totem. Okay, mount up quickly. You don't have to worry about removing totems, but please mount up quickly. Because we're gonna have to deal with him coming this way, so he's gonna be flying towards us. So we're just gonna run all the way around this and pull it backwards. It's gonna be a little awkward, but it's to avoid because I don't know how fast we can kill this. And he's gonna be flying through here where we are now. So I think if we stand here, we should be pretty safe. You're gonna see he's basically taking the same path as us. As soon as we're all here, we can pull this. That should be enough. Someone pick up the dragonkin. I'll be on the suppressor. As you can see, he's gonna fly through the two packs we just killed. Spell reflect, watch out. Okay. We're ready to set up the bus. I'm guessing you have some special way you like to do this, so I'll let you do your thing. Yeah, well I'm finishing up loot here, guys. Just head over to the little crevice. Um, don't bother consuming up just yet. It might take us a minute just to explain everything in case someone's new. I'll try to be brief and hopefully we can get the poll going with the next five minutes or so. Uh, we usually have Copeland, who is here with us today, as the tank for the little dragon. Copeland, would you mind doing that for us today? Not a problem. Cool. I'm positioning both tanks for both the big boss and the little boss in a way that uh, all the healers in the raid will all be able to stack together in one area. And if, for some reason, the healers assigned to the tanks are lacking or all asleep, everyone else can make up for the slack. 
general rule of thumb for this boss is do not decurse, dispel magic, dispel poisons, dispel diseases, anything. You will give people a worse debuff if you do that. And we will be able to see in our recount, so let's not grief the raid and just get this done today. Um, let's see. I haven't assigned healers for Copeland yet. Looks like coin. I'm good with what coins assigned there. That'll be Arrhenius, the little tank Copeland. That is Ben Bezna Dega, Healbro, and Coin will be assigned to healing Copeland. All the other healers will be assigned to healing the raid. If you guys want to make a macro or something, you can that just says that you're asleep so that all the other healers know that you're not able to cast spells and that you need healing. The dot that puts you asleep ticks for 5k health, as JDO has told us before. Um, so if you don't have 5k health, you will die, unless you have a nature protection potion applied, or you get a heal. Do your best to stay alive, help the raid out, and call out if you need heals. I think for the main tank, for the big dragon, it's probably going to be JDO with his threat gen with all the other off tanks besides Copeland chasing. Uh, i trying to think if I've missed anything else. Any questions? I'll do a ready check. We can start buffing up. Consumes out. During the add phase, which is at around 60%, the boss will become untargetable for a moment, and will summon a bunch of portals. This is the one case where you want to kill big adds first, then little adds. It's because the little adds will not stop spawning until we kill the big adds. So tanks, I expect you to help pick those up so they don't squash your squishies. As for general rule of thumb of where the raid will be standing, most of the raid will be around the green markers. The tank will be facing the boss normally to the south, standing on the blue area. And Copeland will be standing somewhere around this tree. With all the purple markers. In a way that he's line of sight in the raid with the boss, but also in sight of all the healers. I will be standing right here on this route. So if you want to get a uh, max range and line of sight worked out right now, you can. Aside from that, everyone's come back ready, except for Zinio. Zinio, you're good. Can I get a volunteer hunter to go and help us pull the boss over to Copeland? Yeah, I'm here. Alright, cool. If he's too far away to send your pet, use Eyes of the Beast. Yeah, yeah, you ready? Yeah. Alright, we're pulling the boss. No eating, drinking, or buffing right now, because you will grab the boss. Off of uh, Hardling here. I'm just going to start the other fight. We'll start it as soon as Copeland's got threat. I learned that this guy, you can generate as much threat as you want on him. And then start the RP. Oh, sorry, Hilbert. I was on my shaman. Alright, Copeland's going to intercept it. Once no, he gives us the go ahead, we'll start the RP. Wanna go? You good? Alright, let's hit it. You think you can interfere? Remember that in the first phase he's portable, in the second phase he's not, so it doesn't matter when he's up playing him. Long before your kind has existed. I would just very much like someone to take it. You shall regret uh, that we'll get to around on our hobby ground. So, Paladin, so whoever get ready to taunt it. As a reminder, no decursing, dispelling, poison cleansing, or anything like that. Yeah, if you have slept once, then I suggest. 
Especially if you're squishy, right? If you're, if you're like 3k health character, that's the best. Big ads. Prioritize killing big ads over dreamers. I suggest as soon as that beast is out of his spirit form that you can't be Jace, would you like we'll to do a sign? Cool. Copeland healers look good, a mana. Boss is about to become targetable again. Alright, good job finishing off the big ads. Kill these whelps in the back of the boss. Stuck in a mushroom a little bit, but I'm okay. Remember to refresh your nature protection options. No, already used. But not gonna get an innervate. Evil on group seven. Healers. Alright. Duncan's need to use a lot more. Right I, I am, I'm getting to the point where I don't have a solution and we don't have a second tank on the front, so please don't drop me. I have eight stats. JDO, can you cancel Aura if someone divine interventions you? Done it before. Oblivious code orange. We need to get Millennium really right? Alright, we're good. He's refreshed. Alright. 7%. We can finish. This guy is using the last major man. Orange because you get an orange parse. Whew, nice job. Keep healing the tanks. Also, let's res up the dead. The loot master's dead. Stay away from the big chest. Jace, if you want to, when you get up, just go ahead and look at what's whatever's inside. Awakening cannot be stopped. Not by you. Very nice job, guys. This has to be the fastest Emerald Zinc that we've ever run. I mean, we did start a little early, but... Ooh! Loot all the trash almost before they disappear. What did we win today for hard mode, Mr. Jace? 
Let's have a nosy. Nice, nice and standard. A breath of song, you drink it. Our first breath. This is the huge... No, we got trinket. one a couple weeks ago. Oh, I must have forgot. You got the dream too for druids, but I guess both your druids have it. The what, sorry? The... the dream. Dream buff? Yeah, the dream. Oh, I don't see it on the boss. Oh. Yeah, I have it already. Have it. But Nock might need it though. Which, Great job, guys. Fit. Just real quick before I start doing loot, stick around if you want to free teleport to Theramore, because we'll be doing a Nixie after this. Just going to curve stomper. I'll put up an SR sheet, yada yada. All right, first piece of loot SR rolls for the Ancient Jade Leggings. Should be three of you. Congratulations, Valorum would not roll, I believe, if he SR'd it. Oh, huge. Congrats, Val. All right, looks like the ring's going to fire. Congrats. Which for you in? Any SRs for the tank shield? Don't think I have any. I'm going to put that in for main spec. Okay, question. Main spec for this? What do you consider main spec for this? Because it can be used for the immune fear, the fear, and the charm, but... I would definitely vouch for Paladins wanting this, but I could see a warrior making use, even though it's got intellect and spirit. Are you saying it's a tank shield, or are you saying it's just a regular shield? I'm, say I'm saying I'm saying it's a shield that can be used for like it can be used for a specific situation, right? Like because it exactly it makes you immune to charms, it makes you immune to fear. It can it can it can save you an entire rotation on something like Neff if you don't have a shadow priest. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But mm. I'm, I'm, not like gonna a against, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna roll against these people. But 